Hey guys. Thomas, do you have anything to say? Bonjour. It's been a while. Salve, Grumia. <laughs> you alright, my lord? Right then. I am back. I know, I already vlogged the, on her hair. Saturday. No, they've seen my hair. Mm. I vlogged on Saturday. Um, yeah, we didn't upload it then. No, I haven't uploaded it yet. No. However, we have the laptop back, guys. It's been, that. it's been too long. Anyway, guys, so we have the laptop back. So that means I can now edit. Now, I just opened it. This was the last thing that Tom's obviously looked at. Now, this was where my car was parked, just for reference. So this is like the train station along here. And my car was parked on this road here. Now, it, says, it does say no stopping here. But when I first arrived, there was all cars parked here, which is why I obviously didn't notice. We were parked further up, though, mind you. Um, like, a bit further up this way. But yeah, this is basically where we were parked, and this is a clear way, so you can't actually park here under certain times. And that's where my car got towed from. We have a lovely little laptop ba bag for now. We are going to get like a proper one with like a handle and stuff, but for now, just to protect it more, <laughs> make sure people can't spill things on it, we've got a little thing to, for it to go in. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm walking the laptop. It feels a bit big. I'm sure it'll be fine. The case is the case. Let's see if it works. No, do not pour <laughs> anything on it. Um, so, <clears throat> I am vlogging a bit late. I'm probably going to start the vlog now and carry on until tomorrow. Because you just had a proper moody day. I've had it, yeah, I've had a moody day. It's the 1st of April. Moody ass bitch. Amy's being proper moody today because she cut her hair too short. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's annoying and me. She had a grumpy day. <laughs> I've had a rough few weeks. Are you just doing this because it's the 1st of April and it's like April, April Fools. Fools or something? <laughs> no, I'm generally And you're like going to say April Fools at the end of the day and then I'm going to go mad. No. What did you get today? Well, I got my medications. Oh. But the chemist guy gave me these. Um, they're... Ginger. Ginger drops, like super, super concentrated ginger in alcohol, basically. I wonder if it smells just like vodka or something. Pretty smell like ginger beer, won't it? Whoa. Smell that. It does smell like ginger beer, kind of. Really, really smells. I think he said it you... Smells like beach from salt in one. meant to have, like, a few of drops. It's meant to help with nausea, so... Well, do the lid back on. Well, I, I'm going to say, should I try it now? But I don't really feel that sick. Well, probably not then. <laughs> Wait till I feel sick, and then we'll try it. I'll try it on camera, though, when I do. <clears throat> Beat you. Your breath doesn't actually smell. What are you doing? I had the eyelash. Did I? Thanks. So, I'll be back when... You're welcome. I'll be back when I feel sick so we can try these drops out. In the meantime... But he gave me them for free. I wonder how much they are to actually buy. But he gave me a little sample. Put them in a little dropper bottle. That's why it's not got a label. And I'm back to <laughs> doing... <laughs> you stop getting the camera so close? It's I'm, like, um... I'm back to... It's like it. safe. What's safe? That TV program that's like proper zoomed in to like their <laughs> cubicles. Um, Hope you don't any makeup today. I haven't. I'm oh. wearing any makeup. Should I? I wanted to show them this. So guys, as you know, I was quite sick during March, so I only did basically up to like the third of March. Laziness. However, I did do my monthly spread, so I kind of had to just skip past. I only did up to the tenth, really. Oh Jesus Christ! Have you started your mood tracker for this month yet? <laughs> Fucking rock bottom. That's my March in Polaroids, which I thought was really cute. So we got my grandparents. That was like their last full day. They were leaving the next day. That was me and Ellie when we went to go see the Five Feet Apart um, film, which was like the premiere of it because it hadn't actually been released yet. Me and Jenna, she took the day off for me so we could, she could take me to my appointments and stuff. And then she took me to get my hair cut when I got the chop. Tom and I, that was on Saturday when we went to go see Harry Potter. Yeah, I know you're, I know he's holding the thing the wrong way around, but I thought it was just like a cute picture and that is just like us summed up pretty much. Is it uh, the wrong way around? Yeah, you're holding the Harry Potter thing upside down. Oh yeah. That was the pain clinic and George was giving me some deep pressure therapy. And then that was Nina's birthday when she shaved her head and we were all there, etc. Anyway, but this is the page I wanted to show you. It's the Five Feet Apart, Don't Give Up On Me, which you guys know was one of my favourite songs recently. And I did the lyrics. And then, this is my April theme. We're going with a plant theme, because I don't really know what else to do. So, I haven't finished it. I need to colour in around the edges. My mood tracker, I was upset. I was sad today. So. <laughs> it's too bad it's not an angry one. 
What was, I don't understand how this works. Okay, so you got happy, like, meh. Oh, the colors. Okay, and then you're sad. Any color in each one, depending on what you're feeling. Jesus Christ, should have been a lot. And then my habit tracker, which I obviously haven't filled out to put today yet. April and Polaroids, which obviously we do at the end of the month. And then this is my weekly spread, which obviously is half done, but I've written in the things that I need to do. So I need to just finish off this. And then that's it for now. Oh yeah. And everyone keeps asking me what this is. Everyone thinks it's Tom, but it's actually me. It was Why a Snapchat filter of an egg. So I screenshotted it and printed it off. And you do have quite an egg-like face. I know. That, I feel like that egg's upside down. Right? What do you mean? Like the shape is the opposite uh. to your face. It's a bit <laughs> an image. <laughs> Oh, okay, you can stop filming now. You sure? Yeah. So you can go back to being moody? I'm not moody. Sorry, what? Should we film a documentary series? About my foot. Do not put your feet on YouTube. Look how veiny they are. There's so many foot fetish people out there. Stop it. Thumbs up if you like me foot. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh what do you want to do a documentary about? Try to show the ups and downs, but I wanna like there's things that people don't see. Do you know what I mean? The other side. Like me being like, I don't wanna show me like vomiting over the toilet. <laughs> I'd like to show more I don't know, more real things if I could possibly like do more in depth stuff like with appointments and I don't know. I feel like it'd just be interesting to see more of that side of my life. Maybe you should start planning. No, no but how would I film a documentary? Are you still filming? No. Good morning, guys. So it is the next day. It's Tuesday. Um, I had a shower last night after I kind of started my vlog, so my hair's a bit puffy and whatever. <laughs> so ignore that. Um, so update on the laptop situation. So I started editing last night. I got edited Wednesdays and then Friday's video, which Friday kind of was the day I had the seizure, and then I had like a, a few clips. Like I had a clip from when I was at the hospital, and then I had. It's basically a week gap and then there was another clip explaining the whole situation so obviously by the time you're watching this those would have been up but in the moment last night i looked at the laptop battery and i was oh 30 something percent i was like oh, i'll plug it in and put it on charge and it wouldn't charge now when the water got spilled on the laptop it actually got on the charger too um but we didn't think anything of it at the time we thought oh, the charge is fine so but then last night when it wasn't charging it, I just had this feeling. I was like, hmm, this isn't the charger. Like, this is the laptop. I just know it. Anyway, luckily we had um, we had a spare laptop charger that is brand new um, from when we bought the new laptop like this time last year, actually. Because the charger was fine with the old laptop. It was just the laptop itself that was broken. So we've been using the old laptop charger. So we thought, we'll get the new laptop charger out the box and we'll try it and that wasn't charging it so Tom's had to take the laptop back today because that's you know we've just paid however much money to get it fixed and basically now it's under like a new warranty so if anything's wrong with it like we don't have to pay for anything and everything should have been fixed and connected so there shouldn't be anything wrong with it basically um, all the water damage has been fixed etc etc so Tom's taking it back this morning and he's going to be like why isn't this charging and you know we need this asap kind of thing because i need to edit and get my vlogs up and i can't do that without the laptop so that's the current situation it's like i get the laptop back i'm like yeah i can edit again and now i can't <laughs> so fun times but i'm getting my toenails done today that sounds such a weird thing i'm getting my nails done but i'm getting my toenails done um because they're just really gross and they're triggering me so i just want to get them painted um and just a bit of a girl's day so courtney's um picking me up and taking me we're going to get our nails done and then probably gonna go and get like a coffee or something there's like quite a few different coffee and like cake places around like where the nail places hey guys so courtney just left <laughs> oh, okay hiccups. it is currently quarter past four i just realized something that i kind of forgot to talk about when i was doing my update so i thought I'd just talk about it now um so I realized probably you guys, I know, I, I mean my vlogs haven't uploaded yet, but I just know this is probably going to be a question, so <laughs> oh, 
craziness. Um, you guys probably wondering like if I have seizures and I'm passing out and stuff like how I got my license. Um, and you know, full disclosure, etc. Uh, oh my god, he ups. I my the driving people, or I was gonna say the DVLA, but that's like the U the UK version. But I don't know what the Australian version it, version is like. WA Transport or something. <laughs> but they are aware of my seizures and my um, fainting, like my pots, etc. Um, so, as I was saying, yes, the driving company or whatever you want, to, whatever you want to call it, know about all my medical conditions and history. Um, and I've been cleared by the neurologist and cardiologist consultants that I'm under to drive because I have been, you know, before my seizure on Friday, it had been like June or July since my last seizure, which is quite you know, a long time, that's like well over six months, um, excuse me, and they know that I never just spontaneously pass out or seize, I always get a lot of warning before, like I knew way before that I passed out on Friday that I was going to pass out, and like I had enough time to warn people, I had enough time to get myself to the, excuse me, to get to the ground, and the same with my seizures, I always get warning, um, like I get my seizure weird, I call it my seizure weird, that's like how I explain it. And it's basically a feeling or an aura, excuse me, so I know, like, I never just randomly start seizing, like I have an aura, so I know it's coming, except this particular time, I just happened to be passed out, so obviously I missed my aura and I also uh, ignored the warning symptoms beforehand because my one of my big trigger symptoms which I did mention is high heart rate and obviously because I was walking in the heat I had a high heart rate because of POTS and it was also masking the fact that I had a high heart rate because I was gonna have a seizure but yeah I get an aura so I get like um I smell like burnt rubber and I get like a metallic taste in my mouth and I get like a seizure seems a weird feeling which gets stronger and stronger to the point right before I seize and I always always if I'm conscious before I seize I always say I'm gonna go like I'm gonna go like I just know so if that kind of, excuse me clears things up um th that's how I was still able to have my driving license because I have certain thick times or or whatever where it says I cannot drive and it does say that on my license um, and I have all the paperwork to go with it and it also says like take medication <coughs> excuse me take medication as prescribed do not drive if you feel unwell or symptomatic blah 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 so I have a bunch of rules and stuff that I have to follow but excuse me as long as I follow all of that um, the doctors are aware the driving people are aware like I'm still allowed to drive so I'm very fortunate that I st still have that access now, because I went to a different hospital, they weren't aware of that me medical history. Um, they know now, obviously, but it's already been written that I can't drive until I see cardiology and neurology at Fiona Stanley to reassess and re-clear me. So that's basically why I'm not allowed to drive now. Um, and plus, you know, I would never ever get behind the wheel if I felt unwell or symptomatic or like I was going to pass out or have a seizure or anything like that. I would never excuse me never do that um but yeah because I do I've had had some I have had some questions before um where you guys have asked me how I got my license etc um so yeah I'm not saying that everybody who has seizures because obviously everyone's seizures you know people who have epilepsy for example sometimes that they don't necessarily have warning like it just randomly come on like I get a lot of warning thankfully with mine um, which I think is one of the reasons why I'm still able to drive and same with my pots I get a warning like usually it's postural or if I've been stood up for a long period of time or walked a fair distance stuff like that um, I never just randomly I've never really passed out while I've just been sitting before not very very rarely and again I always get warning so I hope that makes sense and hope that cleared things up for some people I was about to say good morning, but good afternoon everybody. So it's Wednesday today. I've had quite a relaxing day. I've literally just finished running some fluids and I just also spoke to Baxter, who's like my home health company. Is that the, I don't know what they're called, but they basically deliver like my TPN and fluid supplies, etc. And I recently did an order with them like a few days ago. I think it was like Monday. Yeah, Monday. Um, and I realised I forgot to add IV fluids onto the order, so luckily they actually rang me back today earlier, but I missed the call. 
and they said that they can't deliver my supplies on the 19th because it's Good Friday. So they're like, can we do it the day before, the 18th? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. Um, can I also add a couple of boxes of my plasma light onto the order? And they're like, yeah, 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 that's fine. So I was like, okay, good. Um, I baked some cookies this morning because I was in the mood. And then after I'd baked them, I felt really sick. So I was like, oh, at least I baked them because sometimes like if I'm kind of like craving a food, like baking it kind of takes the craving away like sometimes for example if I'm like craving like eating something I'll watch like a cooking program and then I feel better but then other times I can watch it and then feel like extra hungry so I don't know but anyway for some reason it it took my craving away and then I felt sick and then I wasn't I didn't even feel like eating them so I was like well now everyone has dessert for tonight um, so yeah, I've just had a bit of a rela quite relaxing day. Tom's picking up the laptop on his way home from work. Um, and hopefully it's all fixed so I should be able to get up the two vlogs that I edited and then hopefully over the next few days, I or well, I'll say the next few days, but hopefully the rest of this week and like weekend I can get up some of the vlogs that I've been filming. So including this one, hopefully. I'm quite tired so I think I needed it because yesterday I saw one of my friends and I also saw one of my friends on Monday. So it was nice to have a little bit of a break. Um, I am seeing Nina tomorrow um, and we're doing something fun with George so I can't wait for that. Um, I'm actually not sponsored but we partnered, Nina and I partnered with a company um, who do like dog vests or harnesses. Um, so we'll obviously tell you all about that in tomorrow's vlog. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for that and I'm excited to see her because I literally haven't seen her since... Um, since I had my seizure I think yeah I haven't seen her since then so yeah hey guys so I don't really haven't vlogged since much since I updated earlier but I'm pretty sure since I've vlogged Monday Tuesday Wednesday that this should be enough footage for a vlog um so there's no internet there you go oh I don't know if I mentioned that earlier but the internet was down and, I, and today and I didn't really think anything of it like I thought it would like come back on but alas it hasn't so Although I have my laptop back, I am unable to upload anything, <laughs> which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, so it's like even when I can edit, I can't upload. So over the next few days, we should have the internet back by possibly Friday, but definitely Monday is what they told us. So I'm going to edit everything that I have, and then hopefully Monday I'll be able to upload everything. Obviously, by the time you're watching this, it wouldn't matter, but I thought I'd explain the reason why there's been another stop in uploads because it just feels like it's forever going. Luckily I do have quite a few things downloaded to keep Tom and I occupied. Like I've got quite a few casualties downloaded because I have not watched it properly since pretty much since I was admitted in October. Um, like I've watched a few odd episodes here and there but I haven't really caught up properly so I've got many months worth. Um, I am kind of there is a kind of gaps in between the episodes though because it's only I've only been able to download certain ones so it'll be like five episodes in a row and then there'll be two missing and then another five so that's going to be frustrating but hopefully it will have enough information in the previews to kind of catch me up on what's happened so that's basically the situation. Um, and I've just been working on my bullet journal spread, my spread for next week, which I'll show you guys in tomorrow's vlog. But before I go to bed, Tom's got a things to make a good hmm for you guys. He's ready! <laughs> things make you go. Oh no, hmm. I didn't do my welcome to another episode of... Things make you go. Hmm. Don't get too close to my nose. I haven't put my skin and stuff. I know, Baba. You have dry forehead skin. You haven't put your cream on. Why is there a D in the spelling of fridge, but not in the spelling of refrigerator? Things to make you go, hmm. <laughs> fridge, refridge. <gasps> I just realised something, T. They haven't seen you in your merch. I don't know, because they always see me when I'm laying in bed. Okay guys, tomorrow, or if you remind us in this vlog, if you comment in this vlog, remind Tom to wear his things that make you go, hmm, merch. Buy my merch. <laughs> Buy my merch. Um, also, go check out his Instagram, because didn't you post, I'm pretty sure he posted a picture on Instagram, I can't remember. Also, if you guys have bought things that make you go, hmm, merch, or any merch, I would absolutely love to see it. So please, if you post it on any social media, please tag me so I can see it. 
anyway on that lovely note everybody i'm gonna head to bed um if you enjoyed the last couple of days worth of vlogs um please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button down below we are so close to 70,000, which blows my mind because i just can't believe how many of you support me and it's just amazing like, i never ever thought that i would ever get like a thousand never mind 70 like it's crazy i still can't believe it like i see my youtube plaque for my other channel on my wall all the time and i'm just like it's, i'm still in shock like i don't feel like it's mine it's absolutely crazy so thank you guys so so much um i love you all a bit and i will see you tomorrow good night guys